All right, we are here with Nicole Smith, the current number nine in the Volvic uh, Race for the Card rankings. Nicole, what are your overall feelings just coming into this week, the final event of the season at the Daytona Beach Invitational? How are you feeling? Feeling a little pressure? Feeling relaxed? Uh, I'm feeling really good this week. I've uh, gotten a lot of good practice in. Tuesday kind of ended up being uh, not a day to get on the course with all the rain. Um, so I played him in my prime yesterday and got out and played nine holes this morning and just feeling really good, feeling really calm, you know, just going to keep going, you know, just keep being steady out there. All right, you've had a lot of solid performances this year. You've been probably one of the most consistent players um, and obviously you're a pretty fiery competitor. Um, you're one of the few players without a win ranked in the top ten. Yeah. What would that mean to get that win this uh, this week and kind of go out on top, probably bump your ranking even higher? I To win this week would be perfect. It would just be icing on the cake, cherry on top of everything. Um, it's what I'm going to go out and play for. I, you know, each week, I, I take each week as just another step and, you know, try not to focus on the overall picture and to win this week would just be so great. I've been so close a few times and I just know that a steady performance out there and just focusing on each shot is really what will do the trick. Perfect. And you've been having some highlights on the uh, course this year. What do you think has been the probably top highlight for you so far on the course? Um, I think one of the top highlights was at uh, Beaver Meadows in Concord. I sunk a 20 foot putt to take third and that's kind of something that when you need something to really like get me going. I, I just remember that and just the great cheer from all the fans and all my supporters that I had out there that week. All right. Now you're so close to getting your card. You've obviously been working so hard for this. What does it mean to have a sponsor like Volvic and to have the opportunity to have 10 cards? Since you are in one of those spots through 6 through 10, to have one of those uh, all those 10 full cards uh, presented to the top 10 this year? I mean, it means, it means the world that, to know that you know, six through ten, and because of Volvic coming out, that the Volvic race for the card, and having ten cards, that we have a full season. It's it's just nice to know that a good finish this week, a solid performance. I I get to put my clubs away for the year and just relax and hang out and enjoy a fall and get ready and get fired up for a full season on the LPGA next year. Perfect. And you're pretty familiar with LPGA International, played here the past couple of years, also a qualifying. How does the course set up to, to your game? It's a little wet out here. You've been practicing the past couple of days. How's the course look and what do you think uh, they're going to look forward to? LPGA International looks really good. You can tell that obviously they've had some water, but it's drying out really nicely. True Floridian style, I guess. Um, you know, it's, it's all carry anyways. I hit a long enough ball off the tee that it's, you know, it shouldn't really affect me too much. It's just so hot. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. Thanks. <laughs> awesome. All right. Well, good luck this week, Nicole. Thank Best you. Best of luck.